that night that they got Andy, we uh, were marching, and that was a really heavy crowd. We, in turn, <clears throat> went down. We marched that night. Andy was in front. When they got Andy on the corner over here, I got stomped pretty good that night because I'm, I'm the, the one of the individuals that got on top of Andy to go and uh, protect him. But they wanted to go and get that nigger leader. And uh, Andy was that nigger leader at that time. Yes, I was involved in the Monster Motor Lodge pool situation. Uh, we decided that we would go and do a wait-in at Monson, at the, at the Motor Lodge pool. So what it was, we had some rabbis and ministers to go and uh, register at the Monson. Now, the sign states pool is for guests and their company only. So they're to get their guests to the pool, so uh, we're gonna have, to, they're gonna invite some of our kids over to go and uh, uh, come into the pool. I pulled in front of the uh, Monson these kids are going to get, they got out of, out, of, out of the automobile. They in turn got out and ran over to the pool and dived in the pool. I didn't want to go to jail that particular day, so I took the car. I <clears throat> sped off, went and parked the car, and I walked back up on the bayfront. Dr. King, Andy, C.T. Vivian, and uh, others were standing across from the Monson observing Yo, know, this waiting we was having at the pool. The owner of the pool, he came out, he said, the pool is closed. He in turn was pouring this pool cleaner into the pool, you know, saying that the pool was closed. He'd go and say it's acid, but it was a pool cleaning acid. After the kids were got taken out of the pool and arrested and taken to jail, I didn't go to jail that day. We went and had a mass meeting that night at the church. That particular night, here comes the sheriff department. <laughs> Who goes to jail? Dr. Haling and I. I'm a, and we arrested, we were taken out to the county jail, booked into the county jail. What happened? Some of the old local rep uh, thugs, Caucasian thugs, they came into jail. Haling and I, we were standing out in the hall. Would you believe they let, they let them suckers attack us in the jail? When I, I was arrested for that one, and with that, that situation, um, I was charged with uh, contributing to the delinquency of a minor. Uh, that's the same charge that Dr. Haling was charged with. And I got so many contributing to the delinquency of minor charges, and I'm only 18, 18 or 19. But uh, that's, that's the way uh, our judicial system w was geared uh, back at that particular time. I attended the Selma March, and uh, I can only think about the night coming back, I got in trouble. We in turn went across the street and uh, we had sleeping bags and the whole thing. And we went to uh, this family that was a uh, residence of uh, that project and asked the lady, would it be okay if we slept outside on her lawn? And she said yes, so we, uh, we did that. I in turn, Andy sent for me the next day and shooed me up one side and down the other for uh, doing that. He said, you don't realize how dangerous it, you know, that was. Say so we had some individuals killed last night. If Dr. King was alive today, he would be appalled at the situation he helped create because I'm saying that we have regressed rather than progress. And what he wanted was equality for all. In St. Augustine, we did have support from the white community, but and from some white businesses, but a fear of retaliation from the Klan. They could not let it be known, but I would love to go to some of these families, and I know of these families myself, and go and tell them I appreciate everything that your mom or grandmom did to support us.